Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a closer look at Canelo's more destructive style coming forward and how he gets into rhythm to do these punches. Now, what he's going to be doing here, and these are the punches that really hurt Saunders, uh, he's going to be kind of jumping into these punches, uh, kind of shuffling him into them, or using the pendulum step to generate power um, as he's able to blast these punches. So we're going to take a look at, uh, first, we're going to take a look at him doing this to Smith when he was fighting him. And he's gonna be bringing his weight to the front foot here. And what he's looking to do is get his weight in this position so that he can pendulum step and shift his weight forward and then drive his weight forward into his opponent. But he needs to establish himself on the front foot first. So he starts coming forward and then he's gonna get his weight to the front foot, pendulum forward, he's bringing his back leg closer, inching forward, getting into this position. And then look at the little shuffle here. That's a mini pendulum step. And what's going to happen when he makes this little motion here, boom, he's going to be hopping forward. And once his weight is on the front foot here, boom, his weight gets to the front foot. When he brings his weight here, he's going to be catching all his weight. And then when he sets his foot down, that allows him to drive his weight forward. As you can see here, he's looking to control the space uh, between him and his opponent. And he wants to see how Smith is going to react to that pendulum motion there. Okay, so he shows him that motion, boom, 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 and Smith has no response. So what is, Can what is Canelo going to do? Well, Canelo is going to take advantage of it. He's going to show him that same motion to get the weight to the front foot, and he's going to show him that little shuffle, and he's going to attach a left hook to it this time. Okay, the motion is exactly the same, little tiny shuffle, boom, big left hook, but he attaches, again, a big punch to it this time. Boom, boom, and then comes with the left hook right there. Very, very clever motion. And here he's gonna do the same thing. He's gonna add a jab and then into a right hand. Now this is where he really adds a lot of power as he gets his weight up here, transfers his weight to the back foot, and then allows him to shift his weight forward into this right hand, giving him a lot of really, really powerful weight transitions. Uh, and this is what I call uh, pendulum boxing. And if you're interested in learning how to do this, how to chain your weight transitions together and learning the most efficient drills, check out my Vimeo packages. Um, check out my, my Patreon students. Uh, we have film of them sparring and training and stuff. And uh, you can check it out. Um, beautiful, beautiful pendulum work from them there. Now we're gonna take a look at Canelo again, doing the same thing, but to Billy Joe Saunders this time. So here he comes getting forward, getting his weight on the front foot. Again, using his active guard, getting into position one, transferring his weight to the front foot, and then going back and shuffling forward a little bit. And look at him give that little motion to, to Billy Joe Saunders right there. The same little pendulum motion. He gets his weight on the front foot and then shuffles his weight back. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful little motion. And Billy Joe Saunders doesn't react. And that tells Canelo that it's time for him to start throwing punches, okay? So here's a sequence here. Right after that sequence, just giving him some head movement. Boom, boom, trying to get his weight to the front foot. And also trying to show him these quick motions so that when he blasts into his pendulum, Billy Joe Saunders is kind of taken aback. He's not ready for it or expecting it. So here he is, again, trying to get to the front foot, getting to the front foot, and he's gonna give him that little tiny pendulum. Boom, and blast forward with the left hook again. Again, front foot, little tiny pendulum into the left hook to the body. And again, massive amount of power. We saw the fight. He was able to get a ton of power into these punches uh, and generating a really, really a ton amount of you know, force. And again, doing the same thing, okay? So again, here he is. He's going to be checking the space between him and Billy Joe and seeing, hey, what does Billy Joe do when I get to the front foot here, okay? Front foot, nothing jumps into his pendulum, and then throws a right hand. Again, very, very common uh, attack from Canelo, whether you're an or uh, orthodox fighter or a southpaw fighter. Um, and again, it centers around taking a step, boom, here, and landing on your heel and allowing yourself to transfer your weight forward into either a right hand or into a left hook. We're going to take a look at that left hook again here. Boom. But taking a step forward, boom on that heel, and then driving your weight into the next punch. Now, I want you to take a look at Canelo's, the rest of Canelo's body mechanics, okay? It's not perfect, right? It's not, he's not in a perfect position, but he set up a really, really big punch against an opponent who was not ready to defend it. And that kind of takes more precedence over the 
the defensive capabilities, if you've been setting them up and paying attention to your opponent and how they're going to react. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right-hand one again. Again, he's wide open, right? There are opportunities. If he set this up, it's fine. If not, there are opportunities to counter people in the middle of their pendulum, um, which is also a very, very, very common strategy. Uh, it's something that Caleb Plant's going to be looking to do against Canelo, um, or he's going to have to do against Canelo. Um, but now we're going to take a look, and again, look at how wide he is. It's a big punch, all power. Now we're going to be taking a look at the heavy bag drill for you guys. And again, the same points are going to be true, okay? When I get on the line, I'm going to be looking to control the line with my rear hand when I'm throwing my left hook and taking a step on my heel as I meet to the line so I can throw my left hook. And again, the rest of the technique doesn't really matter. We're focused on the left hook landing the punch, but this is going to be pendulum boxing, okay? We're going to be breaking a lot of rules so that we can either add power, we can add speed, or we can add combinations. But pendulum boxing is going to be the, the, the basis for learning to kind of break the rules with your punches. And now, for the next punch, you don't really see it too clearly, but when I step on the line, I'm controlling the line with my left hand now, taking a step with my heel so I can transfer my weight into my right hand. We'll go ahead and take a look at those two punches again. Boom. Again, and every time you meet on the line, control the bag. Boom. Punch. Control, step, punch, off the line. Control, step, punch, off the line. Control, step, punch, off the line. Um, and you're going to want to be focusing on power for these drills and really driving your weight into the bag. Again, these are not going to be your standard kinds of punches. They're not going to be your standard um, weight transitions. You're not just practicing your striking. What you're practicing more is chaining your weight transitions together, chaining this step together with this right hand chaining this step together with this left hook. Um, and this is going to be how you put to, put your boxing together, okay? This is really the, the essence to really putting your boxing together with your active guard here, going here to here to here, right? Because from this motion, believe it or not, from this motion, Canelo could be throwing that pendulum jab from this position or the pendulum left hook still. There are still a lot of opportunities all off of your active guard, Um and the key to that is staying in motion, continuing your weight transitions. Um, and, uh, you know, I guess I, I want to say kind of flowing with it, you know. Um, and anyway, if you're interested in learning how to do that, I have some excellent, excellent courses on the Vim in Vimeo. Um, if you're still learning your first basic weight transition, how to throw your perfect punch, how to throw your perfect left hook, straight right hand, all that jazz, um, develop speed and coordination, um, in your first weight transition, check out my first Vimeo package, How to Shadow Box Like the Pros. Um, it'll teach you all the ways that you can, um, all the ways that you, the, the most effective ways to teach you to quickly learn how to shadow box, how to throw your punches correctly, how to transition your weight, catch your weight. Um, it'll teach you all the rules of punching. Um, and then it'll teach you how to put it together um, in a cohesive manner so you can learn how to chain your weight transitions together. Um, and then, if you really want uh, the art of pendulum boxing, the real drills, the real theory behind it, check out my pendulum boxing series, um, including uh, extremely unique drills that I created uh, to teach you the most effective and efficient way to drill chaining your weight transitions together. Um, it's some brilliant work, and if you haven't seen them, uh, check out T-Ball's um, T-Ball's video, I'll have it at the end of this video of his pendulum boxing and his ability to chain his weight transitions together and move. Uh, it's really, really incredible. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, thanks guys.